that again, that nasty twerp. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> Dick Cheney. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Which of those two groups do you identify with? <laughs> the living or the dead? Yes, so let's not go get all pious about dying. People get all sanctimonious. They say, ooh, never speak ill of the dead. Well, why not? It's a perfect opportunity. <laughs> answer back. Have you ever told a biographer of Adolf Hitler? Never speak ill of the dead. What a lot of bullshit, eh? Now, Voltaire, he had the final say on this. He said, to the living we owe respect, to the dead we owe the truth. And the best memorial service I ever went to was Graham Chapman, because we talked the truth, you know I mean? Graham was wonderful. He was terribly naughty. He was in his favorite pub once, and a man was annoying him at the next table. And Graham got up, went over there, and took his willy out and put it in the man's drink. <laughs> <laughs> but he was also unreliable and lazy, and he was always, always late. Late for every Python meeting we ever had. Michael Palin at the memorial service told the story about how he would go to Graham's house to pick him up. Um, every morning to take him to rehearsal because Gray didn't, die, uh, didn't drive in those days. And uh, he would arrive and park the car and walk up the garden path and press the front doorbell and wait. And press the front doorbell and wait and press it again. And eventually the window would go up and Gray would look out, you know, with his hair all standing up and say, Oh, sorry, sorry, Maggie, overstep me down a moment. Michael would go back down, pull out his pencil, start doing the Times crossword for half an hour, and then after half an hour, Graham would get arrived, sit in the passenger seat, always without a word of apology, and off they would go to rehearsal. And at the memorial service, Michael said, although Graham died nearly three months ago, <laughs> I like to feel that he's actually here with us now at this moment. Or at least he will be. <laughs> and when I got up, I tried to say something that I thought Graham would like, you know, because he hated what he called mindless good taste. So when I got up to speak, I tried not to let the old fellow down. 